in the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. O you who believe, do not take my enemies and your enemies for supporters, offering them affection, when they have disbelieved in what has come to you of the truth. They have expelled the messenger, and you, because you believed in Allah, your Lord. If you have mobilized to strive for my cause, seeking my approval, how can you secretly love them? I know what you conceal and what you reveal. Whoever among you does that has strayed from the right way. Whenever they encounter you, they treat you as enemies, and they stretch their hands and tongues against you with malice. They wish that you would disbelieve. Neither your relatives nor your children will benefit you on the day of resurrection. He will separate between you. Allah is observant of what you do. You have had an excellent example in Abraham and those with him, when they said to their people, we are quit of you, and what you worship apart from Allah. We denounce you. Enmity and hatred has surfaced between us and you, forever, until you believe in Allah alone. Except for the words of Abraham to his father, I will ask forgiveness for you, though I have no power from Allah to do anything for you. Our Lord, in you we trust, and to you we repent, and to you is the ultimate resort. Our Lord, do not make us a target for those who disbelieve, and forgive us, our Lord. You are indeed the mighty and wise. There is an excellent example in them for you, for anyone who seeks Allah and the last day. But whoever turns away, Allah is the self-sufficient, the most praised. Perhaps Allah will plant affection between you and those of them you consider enemies. Allah is capable. Allah is forgiving and merciful. As for those who have not fought against you for your religion, nor expelled you from your homes, Allah does not prohibit you from dealing with them kindly and equitably. Allah loves the equitable. But Allah prohibits you from befriending those who fought against you over your religion, and expelled you from your homes, and aided in your expulsion. Whoever takes them for friends, these are the wrongdoers. O you who believe. When believing women come to you emigrating, test them. Allah is aware of their faith. And if you find them to be faithful, do not send them back to the unbelievers. They are not lawful for them, nor are they lawful for them. But give them what they have spent. You are not at fault if you marry them, provided you give them their compensation. And do not hold on to ties with unbelieving women, but demand what you have spent, and let them demand what they have spent. This is the rule of Allah, He rules among you. Allah is knowing and wise. If any of your wives desert you to the unbelievers, and you decide to penalize them, give those whose wives have gone away the equivalent of what they had spent. And fear Allah, in whom you are believers. O Prophet! If believing women come to you, pledging allegiance to you, on condition that they will not associate anything with Allah, nor steal, nor commit adultery, nor kill their children, nor commit perjury as to parenthood, nor disobey you in anything righteous, accept their allegiance and ask Allah's forgiveness for them. Allah is forgiving and merciful. O you who believe! Do not befriend people with whom Allah has become angry, and have despaired of the hereafter, as the faithless have despaired of the occupants of the graves. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Everything in the heavens and the earth praises Allah. He is the Almighty, the wise. O oh, you who believe, why do you say what you do not do? It is most hateful to Allah that you say what you do not do. Allah loves those who fight in his cause, in ranks, as though they were a compact structure. When Moses said to his people, O oh my people, why do you hurt me, although you know that I am Allah's messenger to you? And when they swerved, Allah swerved their hearts. Allah does not guide the sinful people. And when Jesus son of Mary said, O children of Israel, 
I am Allah's messenger to you, confirming what preceded me of the Torah, and announcing good news of a messenger who will come after me, whose name is Ahmad. But when he showed them the miracles, they said, This is obvious sorcery. And who is a great wrongdoer than he who attributes falsehoods to Allah, when he is being invited to Islam. Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. They want to extinguish Allah's light with their mouths, but Allah will complete his light, even though the disbelievers dislike it. It is he who sent his messenger with the guidance and the true religion, to make it prevail over all religions, even though the idolaters dislike it. O oh, you who believe! Shall I inform you of a trade that will save you from a painful torment? That you believe in Allah and his messenger, and strive in the cause of Allah with your possessions and yourselves. That is best for you, if you only knew. He will forgive you your sins, and will admit you into gardens beneath which rivers flow, and into beautiful mansions in the gardens of Eden. That is the supreme success. And something else you love, support from Allah, and imminent victory. So give good news to the believers. O oh, you who believe, be supporters of Allah, as Jesus son of Mary said to the disciples, who are my supporters towards Allah? The disciples said, we are Allah's supporters. So a group of the children of Israel believed, while another group disbelieved. We supported those who believed against their foe, so they became dominant. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. Everything in the heavens and the earth glorifies Allah the Sovereign, the Holy, the Almighty, the Wise. It is He who sent among the unlettered a messenger from themselves, reciting His revelations to them, and purifying them, and teaching them the scripture and wisdom, although they were in obvious error before that. And others from them, who have not yet joined them, he is the glorious, the wise. That is Allah's grace, which he grants to whomever he wills. Allah is possessor of limitless grace. The example of those who were entrusted with the Torah, but then failed to uphold it, is like the donkey carrying works of literature. Miserable is the example of the people who denounce Allah's revelations. Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. Say, O oh you who follow Judaism, if you claim to be the chosen of Allah, to the exclusion of the rest of mankind, then wish for death if you are sincere. But they will not wish for it, ever, due to what their hands have advanced. Allah knows well the wrongdoers. Say, the death from which you flee will catch up with you, then you will be returned to the Noah of the invisible and the visible, and he will inform you of what you used to do. O oh, you who believe, when the call is made for prayer on Congregation Day, hasten to the remembrance of Allah, and drop all business. That is better for you, if you only knew. Then, when the prayer is concluded, disperse through the land, and seek Allah's bounty, and remember Allah much, so that you may prosper. Yet whenever they come across some business, or some entertainment, they scramble towards it, and leave you standing. Say, what is with Allah is better than entertainment and business, and Allah is the best of providers. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. When the hypocrites come to you, they say, we bear witness that you are Allah's messenger. Allah knows that you are his messenger, and Allah bears witness that the hypocrites are liars. They treat their oaths as a cover, and so they repel others from Allah's path. Evil is what they do. That is because they believed, and then disbelieved, so their hearts were sealed, and they cannot understand. When you see them, their appearance impresses you. And when they speak, you listen to what they say. They are like propped up timber. 
they think every shot is aimed at them. They are the enemy, so beware of them. Allah condemns them, how deluded they are. And when it is said to them, come, the messenger of Allah will ask forgiveness for you, they bend their heads, and you see them turning away arrogantly. It is the same for them, whether you ask forgiveness for them, or do not ask forgiveness for them, Allah will not forgive them. Allah does not guide the sinful people. It is they who say, do not spend anything on those who side with Allah's messenger, unless they have dispersed. To Allah belong the treasures of the heavens and the earth, but the hypocrites do not understand. They say, if we return to the city, the more powerful therein will evict the weak. But power belongs to Allah, and his messenger, and the believers, but the hypocrites do not know. O you who believe, let neither your possessions nor your children distract you from the remembrance of Allah. Whoever does that, these are the losers. And give from what we have provided for you, before death approaches one of you, and he says, My Lord, if only you would delay me for a short while, so that I may be charitable, and be one of the righteous. But Allah will not delay a soul when its time has come. Allah is informed of what you do, 